I recently set up a test environment again, thinking it might be useful for the upcoming subscription edition upgrade. In Korea, DAG means redundancy or high availability. Simply put, DAG is a feature in Exchange Server that provides automatic failover in case of database issues. Going into detail would require covering various scenarios and explanations, but for now, I'll keep it simple since we're focusing on a basic setup. The lab and specifications are the same as those covered in the previous video, and the setup includes 3 Exchange Server. And here is the final configuration diagram. For this setup, we'll be using the IPLESS configuration. For more details on the IPLESS method, please refer to the blog post. As a prerequisite for setting up a DAG, the disk structure must be configured identically across all servers. If you configure the DB disk as the D drive, all other servers must also have the DB disk set up as the D drive. First, let's take a look at what a witness is. A witness server is a server that provides a voting mechanism to maintain cluster quorum within a DAG. A DAG requires an odd number of quorum votes to function properly. To achieve this, a witness server is used to provide an additional vote when needed. A DAG operates as a Windows failover cluster consisting of multiple mailbox servers. To function properly, the cluster must maintain quorum. However, if the number of mailbox servers in the DAG is even, an additional vote is required to determine quorum. The table on the screen illustrates why a witness is necessary. The witness directory is a shared folder created on the witness server, used to ensure the proper operation of the DAG. This folder stores files that record the cluster's status. In the event of a failover, the surviving nodes in the DAG use this folder to determine quorum. The witness server should be operated separately from the exchange servers, and the witness folder must be created on it. As shown in the diagram on the screen, I am using the Azure AD connector server as the witness server. On the witness server, create a folder as shown on the screen. Right click properties. Sharing, share. Find people. Assign exchange trusted subsystem, as shown on the screen. Set the permission level to read write, then click share. Done. Right click the start button select computer management. Local users and groups, groups, administrators. Add. Exchange trusted subsystem, 
Check names, OK. Now, let's configure the Exchange servers as a DAG, following the setup shown in the diagram on the screen. Exchange Admin Center Servers Database Availability Groups Add Specify the DAG name Enter the witness information Click Save It will be created as shown on the screen. Manage DAG membership. First, add one server click save. Add the remaining exchange servers in the same way. After completing the DAG setup, proceed with database replication as shown on the screen. Go to Databases select the target DB click Add Database Copy. Add the Exchange Server, then click Save. If circular logging is enabled, an error will occur as shown on the screen. In this case, Disable circular logging and try again. Occasionally, an error may occur as shown on the screen. This is likely a temporary issue. Add the remaining servers in the same way. If an error occurs, update each server before proceeding.
Replication is complete. That concludes the DAG setup tutorial. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment.